Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm going to be doing a tips and tricks video to try to maximize your MLB 9 innings experience. Uh, first thing off, whenever I go to my league games, I will upgrade my starting pitcher. And I will only play to bat because I'm in year 2025 and the rewards for pitching in-game aren't that great. So, I believe, think that offense is the best way to maximize your time and to get through a full 162 game season quicker and get the best season reward. If you do less than 162 games, your rewards are not going to be as good. And it's not really worth it. Now during the day, a way to get through the season and to maximize rewards is to put the game on autoplay and do the offense. Unless you're not going to be checking in on your phone as often and then you could do all and you could still earn rewards but it wouldn't be as good as if you were playing on your own. The only time I generally play autoplay is when I am doing the have a two times challenge. If you want to upgrade your team, I would say one of the best ways when you're a lower level right now is to do the ranked battles and try to get the intermediate upgrade and the upgrade from bronze to silver and try to get your team to gold. Oh shit. For doing combinations, the best way is to do five. You can have a better chance of getting the next level up, like five normals, a better chance of getting a bronze, so on and so forth. I use stars mostly for the FA, or the free agents, but I've only gotten one free agent and I think one ultimate pack. I think the odds for those are about 1 or 2 percent until you get your bar all the way up, which takes a long time and I never got it all the way up. So if you are patient, I would recommend the auction or if you want the extra rewards that you could get from the free agents, then spend your stars there. When it comes to player packs, I have noticed that it seems to be about 85% the worst, the middle tier would be about 10%, and the best in the pack is 5%. So if you have a premium pack, I would say you have a 5% chance of getting a diamond, and an 85% chance of getting uh, silver. So the odds for that are not going to be as good as you would like, but that's my personal experience. The best perks for a hitter, I would say, are Legend increase all of your stats, Charisma, and Master Base Thief. Charisma lowers the pitcher's abilities and Master Base Thief, once you're on base, it reduces them. So if you could have a batter and a base runner, you could re make that pitch for a lot worse. And for pitchers, it would be Ace, that increases all of his stats, return, why didn't it return, 
And the last boss, I believe, is lowers the batter stats and cleaning up your mess for when you let base runners get on. One way to maximize your points in game and to get more pat more rewards is to if your starting pitcher is in the game still it, come the ninth inning if you're not playing you play the last inning as the pitcher and get the last out or two so you can get the extra bonus for pitching a complete game or pitching a shutout and also at the end of the game if you have a hitter who already has a hit and your entire team has a hit then switch out and pinch hit for him if you can so you can get the pinch hit bonus also that is if you don't think that player has an opportunity at four hits in that game because if you have a chance at four hits that would be a good reward versus a pinch hit a decent way sometimes to get points in the game takes a little bit longer is trying to draw walks a strategy I've done is to take two strikes especially because I see a lot of every pitcher is a diamond and I want to get him out of the game because the relievers tend to be not diamond the bonuses for walks are pretty good too ah, dang it for one person getting two walks three walks is really good generally when I do this I get between three and seven rewards this game isn't going as well but some games go well and some don't Doing the 162 game season and getting enough pack, uh, enough of the challenges, you have an opportunity at getting either silver, gold, or diamond. This Blackman was the diamond reward I got for one of the seasons. And that is the gist of my tips and tricks. Hmm. Wasn't it? Oh, this could be stupid. Sometimes the return button doesn't work when you press on it, and that is frustrating, so you end up running into outs that you don't mean to run into. And I recommend you doing manual base running because you can't, the CPU doesn't allow you to get many triples essentially. And that is everything I think I have for now on uh, tips and tricks. Try to get your set deck rewards that way you can uh, increase your team's overall ability. Right now I have 16 diamonds, so everyone's all the diamonds are plus 3, but I'm not going to add my other diamonds that I have because they're not as good until I get 4 so that I can increase all of my diamonds, the ones that are good too. From here on out, you'll probably just hear me rambling, so 
feel free to like and subscribe if you enjoy this. Uh, hopefully I'll do more commentaries in the future. And I'll certainly be bringing more pack openings and more combinations and hopefully I get some more good diamonds like that Iwakuma I had. Right here he has three hits, so I wouldn't want to sub him out for hopes of him getting, dang, the fourth base hit. Foul out. Hmm. Get out of play. No. Dang. Well, thank you for watching, and only one reward is normally is a rarity for me. So, thank you for watching, and uh, have a good day.